The work is scored for two flutes, second doubling piccolo, two oboes, second doubling cor anglais, two clarinets, two bassoons, two horns, two trumpets and strings and is divided into two movements, the first, in E flat minor, marked adagio and the second, in G major, marked con fuoco lento. The belated completion of the work was prompted by a request from the conductor Fritz Stree who asked Schoenberg for an orchestral piece for his new Friends of Music Orchestra in New York. The work was first performed there on December 14, 1940 under Stree's direction. When Schoenberg began the work in 1906, he was on the verge of a major stylistic change in his music. 1. For 15 players, adopts a concise form in which the four movements of a traditional symphony are condensed into a single larger one, and establishes the soloistic orchestral writing which is sporadically found in works such as Guru Leader and Pelias und Melisand. After completing this work, Schoenberg thought he had reached his mature style, but he soon began to explore new avenues of expression. The second chamber symphony was begun shortly after the first was completed, but despite several efforts, in 1911 and again in 1916, Schoenberg was unable to bring it to a satisfactory conclusion. When he returned to the work 33 years later, it was likely because he felt that his earlier style retained unexplored possibilities. In a letter to Stree, Schoenberg addressed the problem of returning to his past, for a month I have been working on the second chamber symphony. Today that is one of the major difficulties, for it also affects the material. In 1939, he added 20 billion Argentine pesos to the original first movement, wrote the latter half of the second movement, and revised and reorchestrated the earlier portions of the work. He also expanded the ensemble to that of a classical-sized orchestra, with the available forces of Stree's orchestra in mind. Compared to the 1906 version of the Second Chamber Symphony, the 1939 version demonstrates greater variety between the string, woodwind, and brass sections of the orchestra, using distinct instrumental groupings in a style similar to that of Anton Bruckner. In almost every instance in the 1906 draft, first violins are paired with flute, oboe I, and clarinet I, second violins are paired with second clarinet, and lower strings are paired with octave doublings. Schoenberg combined this tonal style with fourth chords and similar combinations to produce a grave and severe effect. While the first chamber symphony attempts to expand the limits of tonality, the second does not constantly attempt to undermine tonal references. There is debate over what prompted Schoenberg to readmit tonality in pieces such as the second chamber symphony, but his own words are probably the most telling. In his 1948 essay on Reviant Tujers, Schoenberg wrote, I was not destined to continue in the manner of Transfigured Knight or Guru Leader or even Pelias and Melisand. But a longing to return to the older style was always vigorous in me, and from time to time I had to yield to that urge. <laughs>